In this lesson, we'll learn how to find the switch port connected to a PC. Actually, I got this question when I interviewed with a global services company. The company has 40 locations around the world and the senior architect asked me this question. I must say that I didn't prepare for this question, but I was able to figure it out and I even told him the command. So he was happy and I got the offers the next day. However, for the personal reason, I didn't take the offer and still continue with the current company. Here is the requirement. You are assigned with PC1 that has IP 10.0.0.10/24. You must find which switch port is connected to PC3 that has IP address 10.0.0.20/24. The solution for this requirement is that from your PC1, you ping PC3. The ping will complete the following. It builds the app table on your PC. The app table shows the MAC address associated with the IP 10.0.0.20 of PC3. It also creates an entry in the MAC address table of each local switch that the ICMP packet travels through. From the MAC address table, you can find the switch port associates with the MAC address of PC3. Let's do it. To find the MAC address of PC3 in PC1, we ping the address of PC3 and hit enter. After that, we issue the command show app and hit enter. This command only apply for GNS3. You need to find the command that show the app table of the current OS on your PC. Let's do it. And here we are in the PC1. We ping the IP address of PC3 10.0.0.20 and we get the reply back from PC3. Now we issue the command show app and then hit enter. Here is the MAC address associated with the IP 10.0.0.20 of PC3. I will copy the MAC address to a notepad and modify it with the format accepted by Cisco Switch. To find MAC address of PC3 in Switch1, from the privilege mode, we issue the command show MAC address dash table dynamic then hit enter it will show the list of all MAC addresses in the MAC address table of switch 1 then we issue the command show MAC address dash table dynamic address and we provide the address of PC3 then hit enter from the results we can find out if PC3 connected directly to switch 1 or not. If not, we can issue the command show CDP neighbor and then hit enter. Let's do it in Cisco skill switch 1. Here we are in the privilege mode. We need to issue the command show mark address dash table dynamic then hit enter. Here's a list of all MAC addresses in the MAC address table of Cisco Skill Switch 1. Now we need to issue the command show MAC address dash table dynamic address and we put in the MAC address of PC3. And we learn that from the post column, the MAC address of PC3 learned via the interface E01 and looking at the previous command we see that the E01 is a uh, interlink because it show with multiple entries. So we need to issue the command show CDP neighbor to find the switch that connected to PC3. 
and from the result we see that uh, it is connected to sys2 to find the MAC address of PC3 in Swiss 2 we need to issue these two same command in Swiss 2 here we are in the privilege mode of Swiss 2 we issue the command show MAC address dash table dynamic and then hit enter here's the list of all MAC addresses in the MAC address table of Swiss 2 now we need to issue the command show mark address dash table dynamic address and we provide the mark address of pc3 and then hit enter from the result we know that the mark address of pc3 learned via the port e20 and looking at the previous result there's only one entry for the port E20 and it also shows the MAC address of PC3. So we can conclude that PC3 is connected directly to Swiss 2 via the port E20.